reproduction or human reproduction and the topic is fertilization okay so let us discuss about what is the definition of fertilization fertilization means fusion of male gamete with female gamete to form zygote okay male gamete and female gamete both are haploid and the zygote is diploid so due to fertilization a diploid zygote form okay so here sperm is called male gamete which is haploid and ovum is called female gamete which is also haploid their fusion is called fertilization and as a result zygote form which is diploid clear then we discuss about the types of fertilization fertilization two types external fertilization and internal fertilization external fertilization occurs outside the female reproductive tract and internal fertilization occurs inside the female reproductive tract in human fertilization occurs inside the female reproductive tract that means in human the fertilization is internal type okay so now we discuss about where fertilization occurs actually fertilization occurs in the ampullary isthmic junction of oviduct okay then we discuss about the steps of fertilization there are five steps present activation of sperm acrosomal reaction fertilizing and fertilizing reaction activation of ovum and amphimixis okay um, let we discuss details about step by step the first step is activation of sperm it means capacitation sperm activation occurs in female reproductive tract due to activation it moves from vagina to ovita to oviduct okay this movement is called capacitation okay so capacitation occurs in female reproductive tract after the activation of sperm acrosomal reaction occurs acrosome present in the tip of the sperm head and uh, acrosome is made up of golgi complex okay inside the golgi complex many lysosomal vesicles are present and inside the lysosomal vesicle hydrolytic enzymes that is hyaluronidase enzyme present and that enzyme penetrate the ovum wall you know the ovum wall is made up of protein clear so the protein is digested by hydrolytic enzyme that is hyaluronidase which is secreted from the acrosomal region of the sperm so when the sperm reaches to the ovum its acrosome brushed as a result hyaluronidase enzyme secretes and the region of sperm entry is melt or dissolve due to the enzymatic reaction this is called acrosomal reaction so due to this reaction sperm entry inside the cytoplasm of ovum at that time a fertilization cone form due to that fertilization cone sperm can easily enter into the cytoplasm of ovum clear then after the entry of sperm fertilizing anti fertilizing reaction occurs fertilizing is a chemical which is secreted from the wall of the ovum and anti fertilizing is another chemical secreted from the sperm so due to fertilizing anti fertilizing reaction a thick membrane develop surrounding the ovum this membrane is called fertilization membrane due to that thick membrane the other sperm cannot enter into the ovum so this reaction that is fertilization and anti fertilization reaction prevent the entry of other sperm that is polysperming if more than one sperm enter into the cytoplasm of ovum this condition is called polysperming and this condition is prevented by fertilization anti fertilization reaction this reaction is also called cortical reaction clear so the other sperm cannot enter enter into the cytoplasm of ovum okay so then activation of ovum after the entry of one sperm ovum get activated okay and uh, due to activation of ovum it moves towards the uterus at that time fusion of sperm nucleus and ovum nucleus occurs 
and this process is called amphimixis. So amphimixis occurs after the activation of ovum or during the activation of ovum. Clear? This is the nucleus of sperm and this is the nucleus of ovum. So fusion of sperm nucleus and ovum nucleus is called amphimixis. Amphi means both mixes and fusion. So both nuclear fusion ko amphimixis bolte hai. Thik hai? So during amphimixis, sperm pronucleus fused with ovum pronucleus. Okay? And during amphimixis, sperm pronucleus covers two paths. One path is called path of penetration, another path is called path of copulation. So the path of penetration is random path. First, sperm pronucleus enters into the cytoplasm of ovum randomly. This path is called path of penetration. Then after the entry of sperm, the sperm pronucleus covers a specific path only towards the pronucleus of ovum. This path is very specific. So the path is called path of copulation. Okay. So what happened during amphimixis? Sperm pronucleus covers two paths. Path of penetration which is random path and path of copulation which is very specific path. Clear? So this is the process of fertilization. After the fusion of male sperm, uh, pronucleus and female pronucleus fertilization complete. Clear? Thank you.